That was a great week. <laughs> my birth mom and my mom were both in town for like six days. It was wonderful to see them. I got to hang out and we watched Netflix and we ate charcuterie. Got a lot of coffee, took some walks. I didn't film a lot because I forgot to. <laughs> I'm currently packing, as you can see, currently packing to go to Boston. My friend Scott lives right outside of Boston and I have a free weekend. I am going to physical therapy in a second um, and then I have the weekend open and as you can tell there's a lot of construction going on right now and because I have the time and the okay from my physical therapist I'm going to take a train to Massachusetts and see my friend. I think he's gonna take me to Salem, which is so exciting, I've never been to Salem. So I'm very excited to see Scott and I'm very excited to get outside of New York and see some trees and um, enjoy the weather. We're, it's finally getting really cold. So that's my weekend, if you wanna come along and hang out with us. I don't know how much walking I'm gonna be able to do. I'm hoping that my leg holds out. Got a little achy this week, but I gotta work on it. I gotta, I gotta get stronger. So there's like, what do, what is the limit that you push through, and then where are you like, okay, no more. Um, that's been my challenge the last couple of weeks. Now that I'm allowed, I'm allowed to jog um, a couple times a week again, which is really exciting. I couldn't run at all. Um, so now that we've got some things sorted and some things stronger um, in my body, I'm really proud of myself. It's been been a very slow process um, and I am an, an impatient human being but all of that being said I get to go to Boston and see my friend and I'm very excited <laughs> okay off we go I just I just opened one of my bags and I have this you can see what that is that is a wig cap with a bunch of pins in it <laughs> there's green on the hairline. This is an Alphaba wig cap of mine that I definitely stole. Um, sorry, Mary Kay. <laughs> Jacket is so big. Oh my god. In my humble opinion, there are never enough masks. I'm hoping to finish Dawn. I've been slowly, because this is my train read, I've been slowly working on finishing this book. I'm so close. I'm gonna finish Dawn. I'm gonna read Kiki's Delivery Service. I'm gonna try to finish The Alchemist. I might restart it. I, I started reading it a little while ago. I remember what was going on, but I might just restart it for brevity. And then this is a book that I read when I was a teenager called The Seer and the Sword. It's just so good and I, Found a copy on second sale a while ago. I have a copy of this somewhere in my parents' house in Northern California. Um, and it look, it's, this is the exact cover and I found it and I'm gonna read it and I'm so excited. I'm ready for all of the feelings. <laughs> Shirt on, it's a bit colder in Boston. I think I'll be okay. And just, you know, everybody has, everyone has that one chair that's just covered in clothes and I am no different than everybody therefore I also have one of those chairs I'm not gonna show you because I have some self-respect but believe you me I for sure got one of those chairs I ended up having to pack a slightly bigger bag because Scott is a photographer and if you ever get a chance to shoot if you ever get a chance to shoot with someone like Scott, you send him outfit options and he okays which ones are the ones that are gonna really slap. <laughs> you have yourself a dang photo shoot. But we went to the same high school when we were teenagers. He was a couple years older than me. I think he was a senior when I was a sophomore or when I was a freshman, I can't remember. But he was an amazing art student and he had such a beautiful eye. And eventually I left that high school and went to the junior college in town and Scott and I just stayed in touch and he would message me or MySpace me and he would say, I'm doing a shoot, are you down? And we would just, we would get together with a bunch of friends and just shoot. We would shoot in, in backyards and 
uh, in this small tiny cow town that we lived in and we just had the best time out in the middle of nowhere in the dead of night sometimes <laughs> just shooting shooting because we could and we had the time and we all wanted to hang out and it was just great fun. That's a, a tiny, tiny story of <laughs> how Scott and I came to came to be where we are now. And now he lives in Massachusetts. And I want him to take photos of literally everything I do ever. He's really an incredibly gifted artist. And he was actually going to come and see Wicked the week of the Tonys, but I had not been cleared to do any shows that week. I ended up not being cleared and then ended up going on medical leave. Um, so I feel like I missed out on an opportunity to see him, so I'm very excited to see him. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna go to physical therapy. There's dust on the lens. There's a lot of dust on the lens. All the photographer, all the people that own cameras out there are like, fuck, it, stop that. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go therapy. a TV in the very pretty common room. Look at these golden shades. <laughs> Show them the crawl space. <laughs> this is my sense. This is my <laughs> there's a crawl space. Oh, there's, there's, a, a, panel. there's a light too. So really you got two bedrooms for the price of one. Those keys. I don't know. Well, these are closets, I think. That makes a lot of sense. What are these? Look at this. There's a door inside the closet. There's drawers in the wall. <laughs> oh my god. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So Scott, I just went back to his place. I'm officially in Boston. <laughs> Staying in what I think is a haunted, a haunted home. Um. <laughs> But it's it's beautiful, big, beautiful old house. But I'm just gonna just feel like at any moment I'm gonna look outside and there's just gonna be a a person in the middle of the street, just standing, staring up at me, waiting. I always love a good extension of spooky season, but I don't know. I don't know if I have final girl energy in me. I am now in my pajamas my fuzzy socks because it is it's chilly i don't know why i'm whispering but it's kind of late there's other people staying in this building also i'm literally like two pages away from being done i'm gonna finish this tonight i'm gonna start geeky we're getting up early tomorrow though so i can't be greedy and read too much but i do have to wait till that bathroom is free so read away i shall Twist my arm, make me beg. Oh, this bed. Oh, my fitted sheet just sprang loose and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> just finished this. That was such a journey. I have so many questions. It was a good book. All right, well, on the Kiki.
as you can see, I made it home to my fairy lights. Oh, my shoulders popping. It was really good to see my friend Scott. I know you didn't really get a lot of FaceTime with him, but I, I just am not used to pulling a camera out. I didn't grab my phone and film him taking photos of me, but it was, you know, who cares, I was in the moment, but it, he took a couple photos and started giggling and was like, just like old times, and it just made me laugh, and just a tried and true friend. Before we go, you saw a bookstore that I walked into. If anyone's in the Boston area, Possman Books was amazing. I picked up three books because I can't say no. One book that is kind of out of my like reading preference right now, not in a bad way. I just haven't been reading many books like this. This is called On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. A, a letter from a son to a mother who cannot read. I read the back of it and I read a couple pages and was like, oh my God, I think I need this book. <laughs> and then I saw Kink. Kink is a dynamic anthology of literary fiction that opens up an imaginative door into the world of desire. And it's just about sexuality and I don't know, I'm excited to read it. While these stories surprise and delight, their true power lies in their beautiful moving dispatches from across the sexual spectrum of interests. Kink embraces and celebrates sexuality with a bold new vision. I love it. We're sex positive here. I'd, I'd, I'd heard a couple things about this. I'd seen it on some pages, like scrolling through Instagram, I'd seen this book pop up and I love the cover. I just love, it's just like, bam, hot, hot pink, red. I'm excited, I'm really excited to read this. And then, this is in my wheelhouse. This is, this is where my, my reading brain has been plugged into lately. The Year of the Witching, Young Woman, living in a rigid puritanical society discovers dark powers within herself in this stunning feminist fantasy debut. Come on. I'm gonna enjoy this so much. I didn't realize I was starting a book tube. Is that what they're called? I just really love to read that. I'm excited for those books. And it's 10.43 now on Sunday and I have physical therapy tomorrow. I'm really, I'm really grateful to have had some time to get out of the city. I miss my job. <laughs> I miss my job so much, but I'm grateful to my friend Scott who agreed to take some time off and spend some time with me. I'm really grateful. Those are my final thoughts on this weekend. See you next week.